Ryan back home from Korea and I have a new YouTube background. I put my shawls behind me because I figured it was an easy way to display some of my awesome plushies. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you guys what I got in Korea. I'm gonna start with clothes. This is one of my favorites. There were so many Pokemon related sweatshirts and bags and plushies just all over Korea. It's like a total Pokemon boom right now. So I got this super cute sweatshirt with coughing on it. How often do you see a coughing sweatshirt? And on the sleeve there is a Pokeball. And yeah, I just like how super simple it is. It's not a super over the top Pokemon. It's just really cute and simple. And I love the color. The color is something that I've never worn before actually. I would call it like a fuchsia burgundy. It's like a bright burgundy. This was about $20. I'm gonna say everything in like American dollars because most of you guys are Americans, but this was about $20, which I think is a really good price. And I just got this from one of the random clothing stores in Myeongdong. If you go there and walk around, you'll just see clothing stores. I never look at the names of them. There's so many and it's not really branded stuff. They all have really similar clothing. Next, I went to a store called 8 Seconds, and they had a GD collaboration collection, so as soon as I saw the ad for it on the window, I had to go in. I'd never been in this store before, um, but as soon as I walked in, I got really like H&M vibes, really simple, cheap clothing. Simple, trendy, and cheap. So the first thing I got was this really adorable striped top. I love how it has this curly fabric at the neck and also on the sleeves here. It's just a really light fabric and I figured it would look really cute under my black overalls. Uh, and this was about 30,001, which is roughly 30 American dollars. And then I looked at all the GD clothes. <laughs> Of course I wanted to buy them all, but they were kind of pricey. They had like bumped up the price of it because it was a GD collaboration. And many of them weren't things that would be flattering on me. So I actually ended up only getting socks <laughs> because I wanted to get something that I knew I would use. I'm trying to cut down on my wardrobe size. I want to get rid of all the clothes that I don't wear a lot. So I only bought clothes this time that I knew I would wear frequently. So I bought these two pairs, they're ankle socks and they say GD on them. One is for my friend, one is for me. I thought they'd be cute with tights or something just sticking out of shoes so you could see the logo. These were $5 each. Okay, next is not a Korean brand, but as soon as I saw a freaking Lululemon store in the shopping mall, I had to go in. Uh, Lululemon is a clothing brand that everybody wears in Canada and when I moved to Japan, and you couldn't buy it here and nobody was wearing it. I was just really sad <laughs> because I freaking live in Lululemon pants. So I got a pair of tights and they just changed my life. I love these so much. They're really simple black tights. They're not cropped, they're full length black tights. So these are the Align Pant 2 and they're a lot thinner than the other tights but they feel like you're wearing nothing. They're so comfortable to the point where I felt kind of uncomfortable being outside wearing these because it felt like I didn't have pants on. <laughs> so if you're, if you're like me and you really like comfortable clothing and you're looking for a really nice pair of tights that is not see-through at all, Lululemon's known for having really good quality tights that you can like bend over or do squats. Uh, where you're working out at the gym you won't see like panty lines or anything because you can stretch these like crazy and you'll never be able to see through them. In Korea they were about $130 but I believe if you get them in North America they'd be closer to $100. This next one I wish I could show you what it is but this is a present from my friend Toph so you're gonna have to go over to his channel and hopefully he'll do a vlog when he opens this or something but this is a really cute present for Tope, so I'm gonna link his channel down below. Go subscribe to him and wait for him to open this because I want you guys to see it. I was so happy when I found this. Next is some dog clothing for Rosie. I saw this and it really reminded me of the shirt that Taylor bought me for Christmas and it just looks like something that Taylor would wear herself, so I thought it'd be so cute if Rosie had like a matching shirt with her. 
<laughs> I love this. I got this from an outside stall in Dom Damon. They have lots of really cute dog clothing stalls. I guess cats. Cats could wear them as well, but cats usually aren't up for wearing clothes. So I didn't get anything for my cats, but they had the cutest clothes, guys. I filmed a vlog where I showed where I was buying this, so I'll link that down below so you guys can watch that vlog if you want. All the clothes ranged in price from $10 to... I think $30 for some of the more expensive pieces, but you can bargain with these people. So if you want to get a slightly cheaper price, you can try your best bargaining skills and see if you can get a cheaper price. I also got some socks from Adidas. Again, I got ankle socks so that they'll stick out the top of my shoes when I wear tights with them. Everybody in Korea was dressing like that and I thought it was just a really cute look. So I thought I would try it. Normally I wear the socks that are short so you can't see them sticking out of your shoes, but it looks really cute when you can see like the stripes and the, the Adidas logo. So I'm gonna try that out. Hopefully it looks all right on me. These were three pairs for about $17, I believe, which is pricey, but they're good quality and I feel like they're gonna last. So hopefully it was worth it. Next is my K-pop haul. I went to the bookstore. This bookstore was called YP Books. Really big bookstore and they had a really big music section in the basement. So I got the complete made album. Look at that price guys. Less than 30,000 won, which is like under $30. Oh, I'm so happy to have this. There's the track list. I haven't opened this up yet because I wanted to open it up with you guys. So let's do it. I don't know what it comes with. I haven't looked it up. If you guys are in Korea and you're looking to buy some K-pop albums, look for this bookstore or probably any really big bookstore. I feel like they would all sell them, but I was so surprised at how affordable they were. There were so many albums in there I wanted and like special edition ones that come with photo books and stuff. Let's open it. Looks like this. It's so nicely packaged. So here's the disc holder, looks like that. And what's in here? Ah, this is the sheet where you can put all the puzzle pieces. The Made album, if you bought a different album, you would get a different puzzle piece, I believe. So you can put them all together to build something. If you're like a super fan and you wanna buy every single album, but I did not do that. I would like to have them all, but I feel like it's a little unnecessary. It comes with this cute photo card, the five of them. And this huge photo book. You guys, this book is great. Oh my God. I didn't realize it would come with such a big book. So it's got the lyrics to all the songs and then lots of photos in between each one. And it looks like that is it. Really good deal for 30 bucks, I say. I'm so happy with that. Most people download music nowadays, but for artists that I really, really like, I like to support them by buying their albums. So Big Bang is one of the artists that I will always buy the actual album of, and Dear On Grey as well, um, and a few others. I got one more because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I got this, it says GD and Top, the first album. And up here it says, not for anyone under the age of 19. <laughs> so that was intriguing. <laughs> I'm really wondering why. I don't know if it's just for language or if there's some scandalous photos inside here. We'll soon find out. This was 16,501, which is like $16. And it's got the track list on the back here so I could check to see which songs are included. Let's open it. Oh wow, that's a lot more colorful than I was expecting. And here's the lyric book, I'm assuming. Oh my God, yes. Man, they make the best lyric books for Big Bang. Oh, I love all these pictures. This is awesome. So unfortunately there were no scandalous photos inside. So I'm guessing the 19 and plus age rating is because of the language. I wouldn't be able to tell you because I don't speak Korean well enough to 
understand what's offensive about it. But again, another purchase that I'm really, really happy with. And then I got something for Keyboard Son. I got him this book about Canada. It's huge. Normally I'm not really a fan of these travel books. I feel like the information in them is very generic and just, you know, your typical travel spots that everybody goes to. But I read the chapter on my hometown, Victoria, BC, and the information that it had was so like, it felt like a local had written it. It listed all the famous breakfast spots that everybody likes to go to and the coffee shops and the differences between the different coffee shops and just stuff that I felt like your typical travel book wouldn't have. So if you happen to be Korean and you're looking for a very in-depth book about Canada, I really recommend this one. I'm assuming this is the book company. If you want to look it up, all it says is Canada on it. This was 22,001, which is like 20 bucks. Next, I got this freaking adorable Magikarp plushie. We got this from a UFO catcher. Keyboards on got this from a UFO catcher, uh, a claw machine, and he got it with $1. First try, and he got it. And it's such a high quality plushie. It feels just like the ones from the Pokemon Center. It's so well made. It has this bean bag area so that if you put it on a shelf, it will properly sit and not fall over. It's just super high quality. At first I thought these were fake and they like weren't properly licensed or anything. But the tag looks like this. It says third round. That's the plushie brand, I believe. And then it's got like legit looking Pokemon stickers on it. And then up here it says like Nintendo, Game Freak, etc. So maybe they're properly licensed. I tried to like look up information about it online, but I couldn't find anything. If you know anything about these plushies that you can find all over Korea at the moment, and if they're actually legit Pokemon plushies, let me know, cause I'm really curious. But either way, I really love my Magikarp. I'm so happy we got this. And the last thing I got was a big supply of my favorite cereal. <laughs> this is Choco Chex. These are the Christmas version. So let me show you like a normal box. Here we go. It says Chex Choco. <laughs> if I'm reading that right. It's just a really addictive chocolate cereal. You guys, this stuff is so good. We don't have it in Japan. I'm not sure if you have a cereal like this in America. Do you have like a chocolate Chex? Um, I've always thought of it as a Korean thing because every time I go to Korea, I see it there and I buy it. So it might be Korea only, but I got three boxes of this because I'm so addicted to it and I have it all the time. It, I actually like it. I think I might even like it more than the Reese's cereal. I'm just saying a lot because I really like the Reese's cereal. These are about six or seven dollars a box in Korea. They're super big, so it lasts quite a while. If you go to Korea, I recommend picking up a box. Really good. All right, that's it for my Korea haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had such a freaking amazing time in Korea. It was so much fun. I wanted to stay there longer, but I did miss my cats a lot. I filmed a lot while I was over there, so if you guys have not seen these videos yet, please go check them out and let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do that right here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Bye.